So today I'm going to give you my thoughts on the Bridgestone E12 Contact Golf Ball. So these are quite a unique design. Certainly the dimple pattern is nothing like I've ever seen before. And I thought I'd give these a test and give you my opinion, kind of how they feel, who they're suited for, uh, and it might help you make a, a good purchase decision. So these are quite a hard ball, quite a firm surface on them. The surface, the dimple patterns is very unique. They're much bigger, they're totally different. If I give you an idea and compare the two between here's a Titleist and here's the Bridgestone, you can see the dimple patterns are totally unique. They're much bigger, more hexagonal shape with kind of an edging around them. The idea behind them is that there's more surface area in contact with the club and that should give you um, more spin uh, from a slightly harder feeling golf ball. So who do I think these are actually aimed at? I certainly think they're aimed at somebody who likes a, a much firmer ball. It has a little bit of a, a clicking noise off the club face. That's due to the, the hardness of the ball. The durability wise, I have played a couple of rounds with one and it did beat up just a little bit, but nothing more than you would expect from any other hard golf ball. I would kind of compare this to the Shrixen AD333 in feel-wise and condition-wise. Um, but yeah, if you're a big fan of Bridgestone, might be worth giving a try. Uh, I, the only thing I would say is the ball markings on them. The little alignment line there is very, very faint. I like it much bigger and much thicker so I can align my ball up for putting. Other than that, the only thing on there is the Bridgestone logo. You get two logos on there and the alignment. Um, comes in nice packaging. Like I say, they're definitely um, a distance ball, a harder, firmer ball, uh, but it is supposed to spin as well. I'm not good enough to really judge that on the greens, the spin quality, and I have no meters or anything to do that technically to measure it. Uh, but it definitely felt more like a Shrixen AD333 and a, a much firmer ball. If you're looking for something softer, possibly try something like the, uh, the Titleist True Feel, a much, much softer ball, similar price bands, um, but like I say, a totally different look on the dimple and designs. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be down to personal choice, but if you're a big fan of Bridgestones, a Tiger Woods fan maybe, or you buy this as a present for somebody, Certainly worth giving a try. They are very unique. They look totally different to a lot of the other golf balls when you look at the dimple patterns. Um, but yeah, give them a try.